Hey fellow novels, as the holiday season quickly approaches, I thought I would do another quick pro comparison of another superb lady golfer, Minji Lee. Her win at the recent Evian Championship inspired me to do this but also because there seems to be something rather special about Korean lady golfers who do so well on the global tour, inevitably of course on the Korean LPGA but also on the LPGA. Although fast catching up are some new young rising stars from Thailand and even more recently a couple of young Indian lady golfers who are making their way onto the top list. However, Minji Lee being currently number seventh on the world ranking and having a very classical setup with her feet wider than her shoulders on setup and a seemingly a very simple easy swing so she's not one of the big movers and hitters in terms of her body movement but such a great golfer last round she came from seven down at the beginning of the last round at the avion championship to force a playoff and then to win the playoff in spectacular fashion amazing Minji Lee is one of the great young guns. She's had 59 top 10s. She was tied fifth at the CME, the Ladies' Champions Tour, this year. She's had 55 sub-par rounds. Incredible. She has a smooth but powerful swing. She sequences her hips and her arms so well which is why she's such a great golfer. What you also see in her setup is that her grip is on the handle of the club with the butt of the grip pointing to her belt buckle. One of the reasons that she still gets great distance with her irons and her driver even though she doesn't have that explosive movement that some like Nelly Korda and even Jin Young Ko have, has, is because she takes a very wide arc on her takeaway. So when you see her at parallel point, the width is enormous and that begins to get that start of enabling her to get good distance. As she goes back, you'll see that she has a 55 degree hip turn. At the top, she is fully loaded. She's braced on her back foot and yet turns fully. So she's fully loaded, ready to release. What that does is it gives her enormous torque between her upper body and lower body. And then her hip leads the way on transition. A key to great success. At the top, she has her left arm fully extended, giving her that torque that I've just mentioned and allows her to come through with a great deal of lag. So when she comes down parallel, you see like a lot of the great players, that enormous lag, much more than 90 degree lag. As she comes through to impact, you see that lateral move to the target with her hips clearing out of the way for her body to be able to turn nice and smoothly. You see her head behind and yet over 
the ball. On impact, you'll see that her belt buckle is far ahead of the ball. So although she's over the ball, her belt buckle is far ahead of the ball. So she's open up to allow that nice, smooth, shallow takeaway and follow through at impact. And of course, into extension and follow through. She gives a full release of the club head. So although her speed is not as strong, because of that stored power, she gets enormous distances, averaging some 260 yards, incredibly. So that hip lead and turn with the belt buckle head, but her head and shoulders over the ball as she comes through, gives her that ability without a lot of effort to get the distances that I've just mentioned. So I hope that these few little tidbits about Minji Lee, another superb lady golfer, is of interest to you. You should try and see some of the LPGA tournaments and watch her amongst others because there is so much that every even average golfer or club golfer male or female young and old can learn from the lady pro golfers including particularly how good they keep their posture how smooth overall their tempo is and what great sequencing and weight balance they show including on the finish of the golf swing. Happy holidays to all of you. See you on the flip side.